Okay, in this video, we are going to go through as far as setting up Kubernetes using Docker Desktop. So to do so, this is only if you're running Docker Desktop, uh, come into Preferences for Docker Desktop. And you can see here, uh, I am using the Mac OS version. There's a tab for Kubernetes. If you're using Windows, it can be uh, fairly uh, similar to this. Uh, all we have to do is come over here and uh, enable Kubernetes. And you can see here, show system containers. Uh, we don't need to, to see those, so this is automatically going to hide these. So Docker Desktop does work similar. It does bring up a, a single-node Kubernetes, air quotes, cluster. <laughs> single-node cluster seems like a contradiction in terms to me. But it, it will bring up a single-node cluster. All we have to do is say apply and restart. And we can see that it takes a few minutes. That's because it's probably going to bring down some containers for this to support the uh, cluster. And this will get... Uh, Kubernetes on our system. And again, if you're running Docker Desktop, this is probably the easiest path to go as far as getting a local Kubernetes system running on your system. If you are not, there's I, I listed out a couple options previously, but to continue with the course, we will need uh, Kubernetes up and running on your system. Okay, it took a few minutes for everything to get started. Uh, you can see here that I've enabled it. Uh, you'll see a, a progress bar while it starts up. And I did not take the option to show uh, system containers. So uh, you can't see them, and they are not going to be listed under under everything. So if I come back over here to the command line, even if I do docker ps, you can see that I have Postgres and admin. Or, uh, these are two containers that I have up running. But we don't see anything for Kubernetes. But we uh, do know from the UI that we expect that it is up and running. So let's come over to the command line. And if I do cube control, that's a git nodes. You can see that it's prompting me for a username. It should not be doing that. So I'm going to control C out of that. And if I had some other version, such as Minikube installed at one time, I might have to go ahead and set it to use the uh, desktop version. And so what we can do is cube control, config, git context can see that I, I do have uh, another one there. So at some point in time, it looks like the second one was created there. We want the Docker desktop. So what I want to do is tell it to use that. And depending on how you uh, set things up, you might not have to do this step. But I've done a, quite a bit of development on this machine over the years. I want to say cube control config, use context, like so. So we switch the context in the cube control and clear this. Now we should be able to use cube control get nodes. And you can see that we did connect to the Docker desktop Kubernetes cluster and says that we are ready. And we're not really running much right now, so not much to see. But we are able to connect to uh, the Docker desktop Kubernetes single node cluster.